Take a chill pill, take a chill pill, take a chill pill, get yeah. through it all. <laughs> everyone right um we're gonna do a little vlog about obviously the coronavirus about how it's affecting small businesses um and how it's affecting please cakes and i'm gonna go around and speak to the other team members see how they're feeling um see their concerns see what we're gonna do going forward how can we can adapt to it as a company um yeah it's a little bit uncertain so yeah we're gonna discuss it a little bit more i'm gonna discuss it with the staff as well, see how it's affecting their personal life um, and how we can all pull together and get through this. So we did a little blog about obviously what's going on in the world and what your thoughts are on the coronavirus. Personally, what are we worried about? I'm not worried about money. No. no. Not in the slightest, we're all in the same boat together. The biggest thing is health and family yeah. and potential. This is a global meltdown. Yeah, it's, it actually, feels like it's like completely as in everyone's in it together, don't they? So we're all in it together. So when you look at the financial implications, if we all just take a chill pill and go, do you know what? Let's get the, the virus sorted. Let's get our health back, make sure everyone's better. You know, the money element we worry about in six I think, months' time. I think people are panicking that they're not going to get paid, but they don't realise that they have to be bailed out by the government. There's, there needs to be some sort of support higher up, doesn't yeah, there? Take a chill pill, take a chill pill, take a chill pill, get yeah. through it all, and what? worry about it from the others. Look at the grants that they've offered for small business, the loans, for restaurants, okay? We could get 10 here. What are we, come on, we classed as? Hospitality? Yeah. Retail, isn't it? Retail gets 25, they're like the pubs and the restaurants because yeah, they're yeah. completely shut, completely. It's a pause moment. Pause, yeah. Businesses. Yeah, yeah. Do you know pause. what I mean? Do you know pause. what I mean? Do you pause. know what I mean? Take a chill pill. Everyone is in the same boat. So if everyone just took a chill pill, don't be selfish and infect category A people. Well, okay. people her, 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 selfish. her category A people? Category A people, people over the age of 70 and who are ill. Yeah. Don't go to yeah. the pub. So basically, don't go to the pub. In other lake? Don't go to the pub, don't go to the gym, don't go to the cinema, don't go to the restaurant, just go to work and go home, do grab a granny night. A what, sorry? Did you that? A what? A what? Grab a granny. 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 Sinatra's in Croydon, the old one. Sinatra. So you've got a couple. <laughs> so he's got a couple, yeah? Right, it's slightly off piece here, but. Can I buy you a drink? Let's cut the crap. I don't want to wash my bitches. She will be. No, I wasn't my darling, honestly. So I live with her for two weeks now. I've got to be nice. So, what's happening after two weeks? No, I'm kicking her out. I mean, not that. Don't watch the news. Get you depressed. Didn't Cheryl Cole think they were always singing her song? Oh, really? And she retweeted it or something and said. Oh. Oh, this makes me so, so happy. It wasn't that a song officer. <laughs> they all it was Cheryl singing Cheryl Cole. But... It wasn't. All the singers in the world. Yeah. They've got Pavarotti on there. And like everyone was like, get, get out of yourself, Cheryl. <laughs> like all these Italians were singing Cheryl Cole. Yeah. It was like an Italian song or something. Street car, yeah? Because we're all going to start granny. drives, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little letter through on everyone's doorstep yeah. and then say that on Friday night, this is after a few weeks and everyone's got really yeah. you know what I mean? Temperature really check, everyone's got to have yeah. a temperature check. No, 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 no temperature check. No we've temperature check. We've all got drives, we've all got drives. Yeah. My road's only like that, drive, 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 drive. Yeah. We're all two metres apart. Okay. Get the decks out, get the speaker out. Boom, yeah. street party. How has it affected us as a company, Please Cakes? Um, we've obviously got overhead, so we've got rents, we've got rates, we've got staff bills, and then it moves on to our supply chain. So we've got to get ingredients in, we've got to get packaging in, we've got to get all sorts of things in. And this is affected obviously down the line, so it's gonna affect the way we run our production and the, and the, and the day to day running of our business. I promise you it's not corona. Um, it was just a one off sneeze. <clears throat> one area that has actually been uh, really good for us is home delivery. So people are at home, they need a luxury. So they need something, they don't, they've probably got these basic rations. They need some sort of excitement in their life. So home delivery, like Deliveroo has done really well for us. Do you think people will have luxuries or still spend money on luxuries? Because people are going to be working from home and still getting paid, but like to keep them sane at home, yeah. they, they, you can't just live off 
ration rationing no, food no, and stuff, no, no, they, they might potentially eat cheesecakes or treat yeah, themselves yeah, to a takeaway. Yeah. Think There's thousands of young businesses out there that um, this is going to affect and it's how we get through it and how we manoeuvre it and adapt to the situation and what we can d do to help each other out. I think anything you've taught me is the, yeah, I hope if the government supports small young businesses, because there are thousands and thousands of yeah. businesses, aren't there, like, in, in the same situation. We can't all go bust, otherwise if everyone goes bust, we have nothing. We have nothing, we have no economy. Yeah, because because the, the, the end of the three to four months, everyone's going to go straight down to the job centre and go, right, I've got child support, I've got this, I've got that, I've got that. And it's not going to f it everything. Yeah. No drums with it at all. It helps that I'm young, so I'm not really worried about catching it either. If it happens, you know, two weeks off, yeah. I'm going to feel like shit for two weeks, but chances are I'll be fine. You know, we're not going to have the banks chasing us, we're not going to have the electricity companies cutting us off. You no. know, at the end of the day, as long as we've got health and, you know, we can eat yeah. and, you know, there's plenty of food, you know, it might not necessarily come in the form of a tin, mm. but there, there's food, you know, we that's that's all we should be worried about at the moment. So you might okay, my last night when she had a cough. It was hairs on the back of your neck, man. It also, it's, it's that word, I was testing positive. Now, of my generation, they don't detect exactly. Yeah, do you think it's do you think it's scaring the the older generation? Yeah, As in, I, I think. You no, know she said when they put the ban on my nan. What? She's gonna put. She's gonna get a black hoodie. She's eighty, by the way. She's gonna get a black hoodie, some black sunglasses, and try to sneak out in the night to the supermarket. <laughs> Seriously, she's a nightmare. I told her you've got to stay in. She went out yesterday for coffee with her mate. Mm. I said, You're not listening, man. She's like, she's like broke. She's gone broke, granny. <laughs> So what are we doing to um, adapt to the situation? As a company, we're not trying to, with our suppliers, we're trying to speak to our suppliers, we're not over ordering supplies, so we, we're not sitting on loads of stock, we're just going to help with cash flow, obviously. If we're sitting on loads of stock, we're just tying up cash, it's just going to be sitting there over the next few months, you know, so um, cash flow is going to be a massive issue for us to adapt to. I think advice for young businesses out there um, number one don't panic obviously we're all in the same boat together communicate with your creditors so speak to your suppliers as well understand their position communicate with your team and uh, yeah and speak internally don't worry about money because we're all in this together there's no there's no point in worrying about one thing money we're, it's a global thing so it's not isolated and then you need to create a plan of action so what measures can you implement whether it's working from home whether it's reducing your working hours and how can your business adapt to the situation can you go online can you offer home delivery services and also keep up to date with what's going on in the news what support you can get from the government because there is going to be support out there and lastly but not least is keep a positive mindset you've got to stay positive through this we're all in this together and we can get through it big up